<clears throat> Hi everyone, I'm Humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube social media platform. This is Sunday, Sunday, May 21st, 2017, and uh, it's the day after my daughter's birthday, my youngest baby, my Juliana, my Serenity child, my Heyoka, Heyoka, she's a little clown Kachina girl, she's got jokes and tricks and stuff, but... Uh, ultimately, Sacred Creator has it all, and, and so that's what it is. But she's t been teaching us. Carrie and I named her. My other half and I named her. Right, Carrie? Yeah. Carrie's resting. This is our cat, Curious. She was named Curious because she's so curious. Hey, Meow! Uh-huh. Turn the other way. She doesn't want to hear me. This is my cat, Furious, up on top of Carrie's head. Meow, 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 meow! Boy. Boy. Furious boy. Curious and Furious are sisters and brothers. They came from the same mother. Two different, look at that, two different personality types. Kind of like us Figaro kids. All five of us, what we have different stripes. So, but you don't want to mess with this big sister. And I'm talking about this big sister right here, Anna Anders on the YouTube channel. I'm Grandma Anna Anders. I don't play. But my daughter, Hayoka, my serenity child, she got me a beautiful can can candle from a... I was going to say calendar. Candle for Mother's Day. So that's what my daughter got me. How do you like my candle, Zana? Is it nice? This one over here, honey. You like the candle? Oh. Uh -huh. Is that pretty? Isn't it nice? Yeah, so we're just sitting here. It's Sunday, May 21st. And my other half are talking. My other half and I are talking about something. And we, we're just hanging out on the couch. But, um... What we're talking about is the big Hayokas. I don't even think they deserve the name, actually. They don't deserve the name, do they, Carrie? No. So we'll talk, to, we'll talk about them. We'll, we'll refer to them as the Purple Mafia, Globalist, Parasitical Elite, 1% Octopus. Those bad boys who stole the indigenous lands from the indigenous tribes people once upon a time. They stole the lands from the indigenous tribe people. Did they steal the lands, Carrie? Oh, yeah. And they stole the lands and they did what with it, hon? Um, claimed it as theirs. Yeah, they, they took it all over, didn't they? Mm -hmm. And we're talking about Turtle Island here, right? Well, I guess so. Turtle Island, the United States of Corrupt Israel today. That's what I want to call it. Is that fair calling it that today? I don't believe so. Holly weirdness, if you will. Um, it's really w weird, curious, and we got to catch up to them, okay, kitty? But anyways, uh, I'm Grandma Anna here, and uh, yeah, I'm Grandma Anna, but this is Grandma Zanna. Grandma Zanna, do we need peace on the planet for the grandchildren? Grandchildren, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think so for your Suski and uh, Tristan Joy Nelson. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Anyways, uh, that's right. Grandmas want peace on the planet. We are uniting for peace on the planet, for sacred truth and sacred honor and sacred history to be revealed and exposed. And the truth is the Zionist 1% parasitical elite, Purple Mafia, uh, have been booting and looting, booting and looting this planet and stealing Sacred Mother Earth's gifts that she gives birth to. So it's not their stuff, but they want to claim it. They want to name it, claim it, and uh, and rename it too. To tell you the truth, they've been renaming a lot of, a lot of corporations lately. Have you guys noticed that? So, for example, Monsanto has uh, partnered up with Bear. Monsanto has partnered up with Bear, and then uh, the aluminum company here in Cleveland, Corrupt Illuminati Cleveland has recently changed their name as well. And I was talking with a friend of mine, I think it's Keith, Keith King from uh, Strongsville, Ohio. He's a real good guy. He's an activist, you guys. You might, might want to check out his work. He's got some Facebook pages. But Keith, and he also has YouTube videos as well. And Keith is going to be taking a trip from Ohio across country pretty soon here to go to California. And what he's going to be talking about is the weather warfare that's going on across this nation. So people, when you drive down the streets and you drive down the highways and the byways, you should check out those cell phone towers and look at them a little bit more deeply. Because they're not just cell phone towers, they're Gwen Towers. 
Gwen Towers, G-W-E-N, Gwen Towers, and they are linked in to the uh, Harp Technology. And Harp Technology uh, is microwave technology that can create a disaster, create d bad uh, weather patterns in a heartbeat. And, not, and speaking of heartbeats, they can also affect our heartbeats and our blood pressures and our physical uh, stamina and our physical health and well-being. I'm sorry to give you bad news, guys, but it's so true. Is that so true, Carrie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so today in Cleveland, in Corrupt Illuminati Cleveland, what's the weather like here today, honey? Is it nice? Uh, it's drizzly. Drizzly, and you're cold, and that's why you're all cuddled up on the uh, couch here. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So um, she's not sick with a cold or nothing, but she just feels like, you know, it's winter... Uh, you know, like bundle up time. So I'm sitting on the couch here shooting this YouTube video. We need to pay attention. Pay attention to the weather patterns because corrupt man, corrupt 1% parasitical elite, purple mafia, is really playing their lame games with their weather, weather warfare tools. See, they have tools. And one of them is the uh, harp technology. The other one is EMP, electronic... Um, microwave technology they can cause a tsunami or uh, a earthquake disaster like what they did in haiti see they cause the disaster here's how they play here's how the purple mafia plays okay they cause the earthquake when no one's looking or you know people are like asleep maybe in the middle of the night they call they cause the disaster kind of like uh what happened down in um oh man where was it that it was all flooded katrina Katrina, when it, when they pulled the plug on that dam in Katrina, it was in the middle of the night when everybody was sleeping, see? They pulled the dam, and then all of a sudden, uh, it was all flooded down there. Well, people, I want to tell you, back to Haiti, when they, when they did the earthquake in Haiti, you know what the first thing was that happened? Uh. The bill... Oh, did you say what, Rosanna? Yeah. <laughs> Rosanna said what? That's cool. I like that. She said what? What happened was the Bill Clintons, the Bill Clintons, the corrupt politicians, Grandma, came out with their hands out. Mm -hmm. Bill Clinton and the Bushes, the same guys who stole this land from you, they came out and they said, gimme, 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 gimme. You know, they flipped their hats around and said, gimme, 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 gimme. Uh, some money. And so the Bill Clintons with the Clinton Foundation, these corrupt politicians that are up to no good, always show up at these disaster sites with their hands out. Kind of like what Bush Jr. did on 9-11-01. Mm -hmm. Right, Carrie? Go yeah, and then they go built... Me poster it. Posterization. Yeah, go fund me poster childs, okay? Uh, big old, uh, big, big boys, and, and they should be in diapers already. That's what I've been saying lately. They should be in diipers uh, to be carrying on the way they're carrying on and crying about all the boogeymen in the world. They always take it on a tech, our hard earned, our hard going taxpayer. Fun. Exactly. We were just talking about that upstairs, wasn't we, hon? Because we were saying how they come in. They, matter of fact, Carrie, you brought it up, honey. You brought up this morning about how originally the people, the leftovers, I'm sorry to say this, folks, but the leftover corruptness, the political pollution of the Hitler regime transferred all their scientists and all those guys over this way to the United States. Is that true? And I'm actually... Paychecks and give them paychecks and stuff, and they probably went to uh, corporations like Monsanto and places like that. Just people threw them into the facilities, different uh, positions, and uh, you know, teaching jobs and uh, what else. So you know uh, what? Laboratories. I'm going to tell you something, Care. Hold on a second. They had criminal history, right? Did they filter about that? No, they didn't care. They okay. You're right, but I want to get to something right now because I'm just having a moment of uh, clarity here. So, we have the Illuminati. The Purple Mafia is the mob bosses of the Illuminati. The Illuminati equals actors, actresses, entertainers, journalists, media, sports, musicians, but also the college industry, too. Sci the mad scientists and shit that will, that will come to a conclusion in their favor of the bullshit that they're perpetrating upon us. That's what I want to say. Make sense? They're allowed to be bright and, you know, take out more money and the side with whatever's giving them the most money. Exactly. Exactly. And not only that, they do... And then they'll just present context of whatever's in the, you know, 
book volumes. <laughs> exactly. I not really know. Yeah, and then they'll knowledge. then Carrie, hold on a second. Then they'll put it in the media and they'll <clears> say <throat> science has shown us that blah 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 and blah blah blah. Well, recently here, I'll, I'll give you an example. Recently, a friend of mine, Ed Reinerson from uh, Chicago, he posted a story about how these double-headed sharks are showing up in uh, on the west coast there on the coastal island on the coastal. Um, uh, borders, if you will, uh, California and all that. But that's because of Fukushima, because of that nuclear disaster of 311-11. So people, there's been a media blackout. See, what they'll do, the Purple Mafia will do, is they will do a media blackout where they don't even talk about things. So, for example, 311-11, Fukushima, they ain't talking about that shit. They own the fish industry, and they don't want to talk about how Fukushima has affected the fishing industry because, see, that'll affect their dollars. Because the Purple Mafia is heavy, heavily invested into the Sam's Clubs, into the Home Depots of the world, and they're pro-warmongering corporations. So... This is what's really going on. They're not really telling us the real deal. And that's the sad part. Because we real people, we real human beings, real human beings, real entities, we deserve the truth. You know, my grandchildren, does your grandchildren deserve the truth, Rosanna? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Yes, honey, they do. Does my grandchildren deserve the truth, Carrie? Yes. We all deserve the truth, people. So the truth is we are real human beings having a real life experience, and we deserve to have the real truth and the real uh, facts of life. Yeah, stop with all the rituals of sacrifices of... Yeah. Sacrifices and sabotaging, agendas. yes, and sabotaging of cultural indigenous roots. So all this warfare that's been going on in the Middle East, tyranny all, for profit. Tyranny for profit. Yeah. Carrie said it. But all Jews. hidden agendas, and that equals global globalist agenda twenty one. So mm -hmm. they're not, you know, people. They're not going to knock on our front doors and say, "Hi, I'm here. For, I'm here. I'm a globalist, and I'm here to t to do tyranny to you." Uh, I, hi, I'm here to uh, to do agenda twenty one to you. Hi, I'm here to poison your food, poison your air, do weather warfare, and then uh, tax you for it, and ask for some money, give you fake food, give you fake drinks, and then give you cancer on top of all of that, and. Uh, uh, charge you for a health insurance plan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's re that's what's happening. This is a really good video today. I'm happy with it. But now, guys, yesterday was my daughter's birthday. I love you, Juliana. Mommy loves you, and I hope you had a happy, happy birthday. And I know you did. We were there late last night. <laughs> we made a bir late birthday night delivery, and it was so cool. But uh, what I want to say, guys, is on my daughter's birthday... God was giving, God was rocking it, knocking it, and socking it, baby, I'll tell you, because I was getting signs left and right, because I pray and meditate, I'm like, God, should I do this, should I do this, and I got to tell you, people, the signs I got yesterday were definitely confirmed. Carrie, we saw somebody yesterday on my daughter's birthday, didn't we? She's yawning. Oh, excuse me. And yeah. It's okay. Who did we, who did we have the pleasure of meeting after we were done shopping at uh sam's club over there and getting gas and stuff i was walk we were walking to the towards the car carrie was already by the car and i was talking to two people because every chance i get i try to wake people up right carrie mm -hmm. i do activism work along the way of shopping don't i honey yeah, so that's just my, that's the way I roll, okay? People don't understand it, especially Grandma Zana. She's like, what the hell is this lady doing? But this is how I roll. I do my activism work this way. So now, here's the deal, guys. Carrie and I, I was done talking to this couple. Carrie was already walking to the car. She had already talked about and I was other friends in the store. I was talking about, about the Illuminati and stuff. And they, they were already talking about that amongst themselves so and it was uh it was an interesting and very uh genuine to hear um i just wanted to get moving on to our next agenda because we had a full day yesterday because my daughter's birthday and then we had to do our own personal <clears throat> shopping and stuff but on the way out of, the, out of that parking lot now this is how god worked for us we were leaving and carrie said to me hey honey I think that that is who, Carrie, that you said just drove up? Uh, Joy Lane. And who's Joy Lane who? Who's this Joy Lane? 
Joy Lane is from the, the Easter... Sunday uh, Godwin story? Yes. Of Mr. Godwin getting shot. You know what, guys? I When Carrie said this to me... The when my ex-girlfriend to the shooter that put it on Facebook, supposedly. Yeah, Joy Lane. Okay, so anyways, guys, when Carrie said to me as I'm walking towards the car, she says to me, Hey, that's Joy Lane there. That is Joy Lane. And I said to her, there's no way. I actually doubted you, didn't I, hon? I could tell that, well, I wasn't being believed. And... Oh, I didn't believe Carrie. I mean, I was like, she's got to be making a mistake, because come on. I mean, I'm sorry, but what I want to say... Wanna... Yeah. What I want to say, let me finish talking here, Carrie, please. What I want to say is, uh, Carrie told me, she said, that's Joy Lane. And I said to Carrie, I said, no, I don't believe this, but if you want me to ask, honey, I'll ask and see if it's Joy Lane. And I swear to God, my other half, she said, no, really, hon, I could tell by her features. I said, okay, because Carrie pays attention to details, people. Me, I pay attention to details, but it's also like, okay, sometimes it's hit and miss for Grandma Anna, and I'll admit that. And I apologize later for it when I do make a mistake. But I got to tell you, people, did I holler out to that lady and say, excuse me? I said, hey, are you, I said, excuse me. And she said, yes. And I said, by any chance, are you, is your name Joy Lane? Right, Carrie? And what did she say? Yes, I'm Joy Lane. She said, yes, I'm Joy. I said, are you the Joy Lane from Mr. Godwin's story? She said, yes, I am. And I was like, oh my God, I wanted to fall over dead in the parking lot because Carrie was right. Anyways, hon, congratulations on that good, uh, observation. Good observation. You get it, truth or sister. Mm -hmm. I love you. But there was no emotion about... Com coming from her. Coming from her about... Ab about the funeral or the death the of her. that we're there or, you know. So what did that lead you to believe yesterday from meeting her in person, Carrie? Uh, she was very hush-hush. Yeah. Okay, and so what did you think about... What did that make you think all the more? Do you, the, do you think it was staged it was or staged no? and scripted. Uh-huh. So, and do you think that was tied in and linked into the Illuminati and Purple Mafia here in Corrupt Illuminati Cleveland? Oh, yes. Okay. So, there you have it, folks. I'm humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube channel. Video way too long today, but, yeah, that was our, that was our great Illuminati find yesterday on my daughter's birthday, Juliana, my baby, who um, couldn't believe it. She was standing in her kitchen last night, shocked when we told her that was part of her gift, huh, Gary? <laughs> uh, the, uh, the... Well, you were also saying you were wanting her to be born on a different date. Oh, because... Well, because of martial law. Well, yeah, no, not because of martial law, because the military... There's well, a military, military celebration. So, but anyways... Um, yeah, I was saying to Carrie, I said, boy, she's born on the military birthday day. But that's okay. God has a sense of humor. I'm still a peace activist at the end of the day here today. And my daughter's still at home. Is coming up, so Murder by Numbers is coming up May 23rd. May 23rd? Is that a Zachary? Black old sun. What? Under the sun. Murder by Numbers. May oh, 23rd. May sun. The May sun. Um, Masonic. Okay. Masonic. 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 May sun. May Masonic. So listen to that, people. May sun equals Masonic. But also, a shout out to Zachary K. Hubbard. He's a Giamatra Illuminati specialist. If you guys don't know who Zachary K. Hubbard is, get on his site, YouTube channel, and, and subscribe. And subscribe. Excuse me, subscribe to his channel so that you can learn this Giamatra language that Carrie's talking about because it's a hidden it's a hidden Jewish language. It's not right? hidden, it's just really blatant that after you start learning you'll get what's so scripted about Illuminati, Purple Mafia, all this political pollution all across this world. Okay. So, and all the industries that are involved with it. Very good. So, yeah, he put out a recent video about the Times Square car uh, happening. So, it was all scripted as well. So, there you have it, folks. I'm going to sign off this video. Do you want to add anything to it, Care? Okay. Curious, do you need to add anything to it? No? You're just listening to? Oh, okay. You curious? You okay? Hey, you baby. Okay, she's so pretty. Look at her. Okay, we love you guys on the planet. Zana, did you want to add anything to the video? <laughs> no. Okay, good night. Good night.
go. <laughs> All right, folks. So I'm done with this little humble video today. God, 20 minutes long. Too long. Too long. But stay strong, everybody. Stay strong and don't buy into the long storylines of drama, trauma, and chaos filled to the gills in our living rooms by the Purple Mafia well, Illuminati. This Freemasonic Zionist Jewish stuff out of the political head. Oh, Carrie says, let's yeah. remove it out, huh? Remove it out and we'll be a... Well, we'll be better at... 1,000%, 100% past, you know... Better for it, huh? So we got to keep exposing it. So people, when you have a wound, you have to keep exposing that wound in order for it to heal. So we have to, we have to expose. Somebody has to expose the woundedness of our nation, the woundedness, woundedness of our world. Somebody has to expose the Zionist hidden... Uh, globalist agendas. Somebody has to do it. And they've made up all these lies throughout history to fabricate for all this war, murder, and mayhem. All this cultural desecration. All this culture, cultural desecration, divide and conquer crap. You know, ever since the Federal Reserve Bank was established. Is that not true, Carrie? That is true. Okay, thank you. And so your uncle did a book about that as well, didn't he? Yes, he did. What was the name of that book, Carrie? Crazy Horse and what? And the Federal Reserve Bank, was it? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember the head of it either. But where was he from? What part of 